So, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2024 Seacourt Silver Racket. This is the quarterfinal day. In the first quarterfinal, if you have not already seen it, saw Max Truman come through Lewis Williams in the first three setter of this year's event. Now we will see who will play them between these two. So we have this is the second quarterfinal. We will have additional quarterfinals at 4 p.m. and at 6 p.m. tonight. So if you are in the south of England and you have a spare afternoon, do come along down to Seacourt Tennis Club. Uh, there is no admission fee. And come watch some fantastic tennis. Or if you are uh, free tomorrow, Sunday, uh, there will be semi-finals from 10 o'clock and a final at 3.30 p.m. As the players warm up, uh, the Seacourt bar is filling up with patrons. The Dead On is starting to fill up with spectators. And the side galleries, uh, I suspect they'll get populated soon. So do let us know in the live chat of the course of the day uh, where you're watching from, uh, who you're supporting. We always love to hear from you. Just getting, um, giving the, the marker is marking tablet, um, and going through, making sure I've got the handicaps. Yeah. So if you are watching around the world, let us know where you're watching from. Uh, are you? Say, are you Preston and supporting Vaughan? But Preston may also be supporting Claire. Um, that being her place of origin in terms of tennis. Or are you from the oratory and definitely be supporting Claire? Or are you just a tennis fan enjoying the matches? In any case, do pop those comments in the live chat. And once again, we'd like to thank our sponsors for this event. Uh, Mr. Peter Luckhilly, who is the title sponsor, and all that he has done for the game over the years. In addition, our gold sponsors, Brady's Funeral Homes and Denmead Driving Range. If you are in the Hailing Island area, do check them out and give them your Warren, support. Have you knocked up from both ends? Not quite. Going down the other end. That voice you hear will be your marker for the day, for this match. That is Lewis Williams. The rule here at Seacourt Silver Racket is if you are a professional and you lose your match, you have to mark the next match. So let's go through introducing the players. So, Claire Fay, um, currently a professional at the Oratory School, uh, with what I believe is a thriving junior program there. 
fantastic to see so many young people on the real tennis court. As she is working her way through the classes as a teacher there at the school. That handicap of 6.2 is what she'll be playing off of uh, today. That's her current handicap and the handicap for the tournament. Uh, her match against Adam Player resulted in a null handicap score, so there's no adjustment to her. That career, all those Ladies World Championship finals, uh, and then a few of the high rated uh, open events as well. And of course, Many, many times, Ladies Open champion in Britain, France, the US, and Australia. Some recent matches uh, lost to Ollie Pridmore at the British Open at round of 32. And they won the French Ladies in 2023. And the rumour I heard yesterday is that she'll be heading to Hobart for the Australian Ladies Open in a month's time or so. Uh, so the Ladies Open normally is held in January down in Australia, uh, alongside the men's and the boomerang or Rue Trophy, depending on which year it is. Uh, but this year, uh, because of the Bathurst being held in Australia, the Bathurst will be held in Melbourne, and the Australian and the Ladies Open will be held in Hobart a week later. At the other end of the court, we have uh, Vaughan Hamilton, a professional from the Prestead Tennis Club, who has having something of a breakout season, looking to break through into those single figures. Uh, played against Darren Long in the first round and got a big win on a handicap. So his handicap at the start of the draw was 11.9 and is now down to 10.7. But at the Sea Court Silver Racket, your handicap is capped at 9.4, which is what he will be playing off of today. Career highlights for Vaughan. Championships all through the categories. You can see the progression of his career through that. And now he's looking to come out onto the open scene. And we suspect that we'll see plenty more of Vaughan over the coming years. Always good to see the young up-and-coming players coming through. There's recent matches, again, that doesn't include the Prestead Tambasur, where he beat Zach Edel off level in a fantastic match worth going back and watching that on the stream if you can and no head-to-head -head matches between these two players Comment in the chat from Jane Taylor. Good luck to both. Difficult to pick a favourite here. Vaughan is looking so impressive lately. And Claire, okay, this ladies, watch well champion and the game. Absolutely, Jane. Silver Racket 2024. At the receiver's end from Preston Tennis Club, we have Vaughan Hamilton. <laughs> and at the service end from the Oratory School, we have Claire Faye. Match is best of three sets. The handicap is receive half 15 in the receiver's favour. Play well. All right, here we go. We are underway in the second quarter final. Out of court. 15 luck. So this handicap, for any of those who are unfamiliar, so every second game... Vaughan will start 15 love ahead. Has a chase the second gallop. 
So this this first game is a love all game, and the second game will be a 15 love game in the favour of Vaughan. Down, chase worse than six. Two chases. That ball called down by the marker, Lewis Williams. Lewis is currently the head professional at the Lemington Tennis Court Club. Uh, with his assistant there, Chris Avey. And their uh, IIP professional, Nick Jameson, who played in the early rounds of the qualifying draw seven. here. First chase is Hazard, the this second gallop. IIP, the Investing in Professionals program, bring lots of young faces to the game, which is what we'd like to see. And then we can add one to the fist pump counter for Claire Fan. Our first fist pump of the day. Quite a muted one, but it can get more extravagant. Loses the chase. 30 15 server. And that's described oh. by the marker hitting into the last gallery on worse than six chase will lose you the point. Stroke. 30 all. Forty thirty. <laughs> the game, one game to love. Game. Finds his first grill of the match and takes the first lead. Gallery. The moment both these players just pushing the ball around a bit. Not really getting much pace onto it yet. As I say that, Claire goes for a dead on. Yeah, just kind of pushing it around, still feeling each other out, not really giving too much away. Now when I spoke to Claire in her post-match interview from the first round. One of the things she said was that she was very keen to try and be thinking more during her games. Trying to work out those strategies and not just play the way that you, you always... 15 love to the receiver. First play. chase is the second gallop. What's the best serve in any given situation? What's the best shot in any given situation? What do you have to do to make your opponent do what something that they don't want to do? Thirty love, chase better than second gallop. Both players finding a bit of success in that backhand corner. There's finding balls that die with that C court back wall. And Claire finds her first winning gallery of the match. Just kind of scoop that up there. 15 30. From the middle of the court. Casual as you like. Hazard chase better than two. 
1530 receiver. Forty fifteen one check. Looks like Vaughan settled into this match just a little bit faster than Claire. Claire just hasn't really found the centre of those strings properly yet in a way that really allows her to put some pressure on Vaughan. 40-15 server, Hazard chase better than two. It's a while to, to start to, to read the court, know how it's playing on a given day, how the balls are playing. Things like the humidity affect these things. Thirty forty. Things like how you're feeling. Did you get up on the right side of bed in the morning? And did you eat recently? All those things that affect how how you come to play a stroke. That's a game to Vaughan who takes a two lovely game. Two games to love, level game. A bit of frame in that volley from Claire. Bond does well to just kill it under that grill. Fifteen all. She's tried that a few times now, Claire. Attacking that dead on the first one that's worked out for her. Oh. She just tickles Worse over the, the net. Gallop. Seen that a few times this week. Fifteen all. So you can be a bit forgiving for those those kinds of shots. Here are some notes where that top tape is very thick. And the balls hitting into it will just die on that same side of the net. Worse than three. Two chase. Don't both players happy just to play that rallying game. <coughs> Wait for that opportunity. Doesn't need to force anything through yet. There's no no desperation from either player to try and make anything happen yet. Still very early in this match. There's a long way to go. Score is 15 all. First chase is worse than the second gallop. <laughs> Great stuff by Claire there. The hazard galleries when you're playing with the chase wins you the point. Chase worse than three. And you're up to two on the Claire Fay fist pump counter. Forty fifteen. Chance here now for Claire to get her first game of the match. First, and really, in any way, uh, hard-hitting, aggressive shot we've seen from Vaughan this match as well. So both players very much happy with the slower pace of the ball. 
relatively speaking, at this stage. We'll see if that changes over the course of the match. But 40-15 receiver, chase so, five. Sometimes the returns can feel a bit like pinball. But not, not just yet with this match. Great stuff by Claire. The game. One game to two. Really working the on both game. sides of the court. Testing out that double handed backhand. And that ball just stayed low up. off of the nick. Or out of the nick. And with the 15 love oh. handicap, it's already 30 love. Hazard worse than the yard. It's going to be a hazard chase. 30 luck. Fifteen thirty. One of the things with Claire's game is that she's so accurate with her line. Oh, wow. Which is something that you'll find with a lot of um, female players who play against uh, male players in this game at various different handicap levels. For the same handicap level, the female player tends to have a more accurate, better pace controlled shot. Just because they don't have the the same power that they can generate for an equivalent handicap male player. So when you watch Claire play or you watch Leah play, then it's very controlled. Very 40 accurate. 30 to the receiver. Hazard chase worse than a yard. That's not to say that Claire can't bring the power when she needs to. But she can hit a line of length very well. Hazard chase, poor serve. See this point. Punished into the, the game. side gallery. Level game. Better than last gallery. Oh! Fifteen love. You need to see how Claire approaches server instead next little while. So we just picked up the pace a little bit in his game. Fifteen all. It's the last few strokes. That is Worst excellent defensive gallop. play by Claire there. Just when she plays that volley, almost as when, when she hits that ball with the racket, the racket, there's so much power on that that it pushes her head behind her, but she's hold strong through the stroke long enough that she can get the ball back over. 
but Vaughan definitely playing with a bit of pace in the game now. Score is 15 all. First chase is better than the last gallop. Is that can't really find First the top of the net. Worse than the second gallop. Forty fifteen. This game going begging for Claire. And with another 15 love game Eight. coming up. Better than a yard. Change it. She needs to really push to get back in this set. Because in, in terms of the handicap terms, we were talking about this yesterday on the commentary. You have 40 15 to the receiver. Chase one better game than a yard. Which is in your favour which is out of your favour as you alternate between the handicap and so you can think of that as being equivalent to a break in lawn tennis break of ten as Vaughan smacks Off that one chase. too high loses the chance 30, 40. Um, you can consider it as equivalent to a break in lawn tennis um, and so in essence if you're thinking in the handicap terms Claire is a breakdown at the moment Jeez, worse than the earth Almost going two breaks down. Because the next game is her harder game. So Vaughan very much with the advantage in this. 30 40, set. the server leads. Chase worse than a yard. Oh! Wins it. Felt better than the other. Wow. <laughs> 40 all. Game That's point. The kind of accuracy that Claire can bring to the game. She's not afraid to attack that chase on the floor. Game point here. Oh. Great shot by Vaughan to find the grill. It's the game. Four games to one. It's a receive 15 game. How will the rest of this set pan out? Vaughan goes behind the back. Oh, wow. <laughs> Puts his hand up in apology there. That was a very casual behind the back shot from Vaughan. Oh. And takes him a 30 love lead with the handicap. Down. Takes worse than three. Straight. Fifteen thirty. Better than second gallop. So yeah, she, even though she's down at the, in this set at the moment, Claire will be going through in her mind all of her pre-match strategies. She's got plans laid out for what happens if this happens in the match. What do I do if that happens? What happens if I go down in the first set? How do I approach coming back into it? I think Claire really is one of the players in the game, perhaps the player in the 30, game. 30 15 to the receiver. Male or female. First at the chase moment, is worse than three. He has one of the most professional mindsets when it comes to playing at tennis. <laughs> 30 all. Chase better than the second gallery. Don't see her get too wound up with things on court. You never see her arguing with umpires or anything like that. It's all cool, calm and professional in the way that she plays 
and holds her demeanor. Oh! And the way that she approaches and structures her game. Oh, that's oh. a double fault. That's unfortunate. 40-30 receiver. Chase worse than three. So with Vaughan coming to the service end with points for five one, you are watching the Seacourt Silver Racket 2024. We're at the quarterfinal stage. 40 30 server. Chase worse than three. This is the second quarterfinal. We'll have two more for you later today. Portio, game point. And another game point at four. We had game point last game. Another one this game. Oh. And this one goes the way of Claire Fay. Two games, two games to four. They approach Level that game. crucial, that vital seventh game. Glad just slots that into the dead on. But I'm not sure that's entirely what she was intending from that shot. Up. But it was a very well crafted point, just pushing Vaughan into those corners. And Vaughan responds with a grill. 15 all. One of the things when you're playing Claire is if you do oh. get an opening or an opportunity, you do have to capitalise, and Vaughan has been doing that so far this match. Fifteen up. Yeah, this looks like a very strategic tactical match that we're watching here. Oh. Thirty fifteen. Just waiting for opportunities, waiting for balls to fall your way and find an opening in that opponent's game. And Vaughan gets a clip of the main wall into that timbre. Uh, so oh, and that one just line. sneaks over as well. So as Claire comes down this end, the score is 30 all, and there are two very long chases. So do the door and the line. Do you let us know where you are in the world, where you're watching us from? And it's lovely to hear from you in the live chat. Plenty more tennis coming your way later today. We will have. We'll have Score is 30 all. First chase is the door. Lewis Gordon and Craig Greenhouse coming up for you after this.
It was very much a favourite of the patrons here at Seacourt being a local. Sinclair kind of walks all over that one. Chase the line. Game. Five Those two long chases are too much for Claire to defend. Yeah. Vaughan takes that 5 2 lead. And with the receive 15 game straight away. Can he close it out? Face the last gallop. That point really was set up by that incredible volley from Claire. 15 all. After that, Vaughan really had no chance in the set, even though it took another few points to finish it off. 30 so really 15. Of putting Vaughan under that One pressure. Case, last More than a yard worse than last game. And while the players change ends, just a reminder and a thank you again to our sponsors this year, uh, Mr. Peter Luckhilly, Brady's Funeral Homes, and Denmead Driving Range. Not being down to see quite recently. To the First chase is the last gallop. Rangers, there's a new golf simulator to check out. A new darts board. It's proving quite popular in the bar area. Okay, last gallery chase. Claire can't quite defend the grill. And we have Chase more than a yard worse than last gallop. Forty thirty. There's a deceptive little and again, ball from three Vaughan games there. Really five. Didn't come back off the, the, the back wall. Claire did well to get over it. And push it back down to the corner. Three five. Oh. Fault called on the roof. Ball has to bounce in that second half of the roof at least once. And didn't in the opinion of our marker Lewis Williams. Okay, better than two. And that's that classic Claire face shot. Perfect line and length. Fantastic volley by Vaughan there, jumping both feet in the air. 15 love. Way out of position, but does enough to get the point. <laughs> 30 love. Vaughan is very keen, very happy with that. A few fist pumps of his own. Forty fifteen one chase. There's unlucky there, it's just clipped the highest part of the net and fallen the wrong side to bring up a set point for Vaughan Hamilton. So 
set point. Better than two chase to defend from Claire. It's very much doable here at Sea Court to attack better than two on the floor, given how much that back hall is known to cut. 40-15 to the receiver. Really depends Chase is better than two. On what serve you get given. Again, two set, uh, three set points here for Vaughan. Player needs a tight serve. Thirty forty. As that ball finds the net, so I try and find the camera. Second set point. Chase the line. I think what happened there is that Claire had thought that he'd gone up the penthouse and was going to go out of court like it often does at sea court. She realised, oh no, it's not actually hit the ceiling. Go go chase after it. But couldn't run it 30, down in time 40, and safely leaves. enough. Chase the line. To want to hit it. So chase the line, set point again. It's a very good shot by Claire there. Seeing a lot of players game point. this week use that boast on those very long chases. Works really well here at Seacourt. Oh. So set point number three, but also game point to Claire. Second gallery. So Claire opts for the chase. It's probably a bit longer than she would have liked. Probably would have preferred that last gallery. Because the second gallery is quite a way up the court and does open her up to plenty of those things like the boast that we just saw on the previous point. Game point. Chases the second gallery. It's a lot more court to cover between second gallery and last gallery. Game point. Set point. And that's just hit the penthouse. And well done by Claire. Well put away. She keeps the set alive. The game. Four games to five. Saves that third set game. point. That was 40 all, yeah. So it's game, four games to five, and this is a received 15 game. Chase the door. Down. That ball called down off the timber. 15 all. Sometimes you get a little bit of cut off the timber. <laughs> Makes it even that much harder to play. So Claire has already nullified that handicap advantage. Chase, worse than six. But has conceded two chases in the process. So part of having that handicap advantage as well as giving you one less point is it means that We've got that just a little bit more time to try and find those two chases and get back down the serving end. Where the handicaps work. And it has to take into account that the way that the, the games progress, it's not just a pure mathematical calculation of points won versus points lost. Score is 15 all. First chase is the door. Second one's worse than six. Chase the door. Oh, he's missed it high. Opening here for Claire on the second gallery if she wants it. And she takes that side gallery. And taking chase advantage of Vaughan's error. Chase worse than six. That could be costly. Another 
the same thing again. Doesn't have the galleries this time. Goes that forehand side. And it works out perfectly for Claire. 40-15. Vaughan's just missed those two forehands high, trying to aim for those hands and galleries, and it has cost him here in this 10th game. It's the last gallery. That one snuck in the last gallery. We've seen plenty of those come out of the last gallery over the course of the week, but it has gone in. And all of a sudden, you wonder... And she's got the serve back again. What will the win predictor say for this set now? Has it has swung wildly back in close favour yet? To the server chases the last gallery. So chase the last gallery. Vaughan hits it into the net. We are game five games all, five folks. Five games all. It's a level game. No tiebreakers in real tennis. This is a one-game shootout for the set. Fifteen love. Jeez, better than last gallop. That's intense frustration there from Vaughan. He's breathing and he's panting after that. He knows he's had opportunities to put this set away and hasn't taken them. That's an amazing volley. And then Vaughan boasts his way out of trouble. So in the comments, uh, Josh Pike asks, when is the final going to be held? So we are right now watching the quarterfinals. Semi-finals be played tomorrow. The first semi-final scheduled at 10 o'clock. The second one scheduled at 12 o'clock. And then the final itself is currently scheduled for half past three tomorrow. But be warned what can happen when you're playing semi-finals and final on the same day. Fifteen Sometimes to the receiver. First chase is better than last gallop. Depending on who wins the second semi-final, if they want to carry on, it can start a little bit earlier. So if you are playing to be at sea court, be there. Oh no, that's just gone the wrong side of the net. If you're playing to be at sea court for the final, chase worse than be, last be here at the very least by three o'clock. Well. Where's the last gallery chase? Oh, and Vaughan finds the grill. He's off balance 30, there. 15. But still gets it in there. Oh. How's that wind predictor looking now? Is it swung, swinging back to, to Vaughan Hamilton? Got the serve and the small advantage. And that's hit the bando hazard better than the second on the back wall and has gone for a hazard chase. Oh, and she's just misread that a little bit. And that might be all that Vaughan needs to close this set out. He's got the hazard chase, which, as we've seen, so some people will tell you that a hazard chase is a guaranteed point for the receiver. But 
and how the serve comes in, how the point progresses. It certainly advantaged the receiver. There's so many ways that you can win that. 14 chase. 15 so, to the receiver. Fourth a chase set point than second gallop. to Vaughan. Has a chase to come. Not a good serve. Let's go on serve. fault. Claire will probably be happy with that outcome. And she's opting for the bubble. Very wide bubble. That's game and the first set, six games to five. As Vaughan Hamilton takes that set, we saw Claire go for the wide bubble. We'll often see second the top players serve second serve railroad on a hazard chase, but we did not see that because it was set point, that scoreboard pressure. Now Vaughan is a set ahead. Down. Chase Claire better than two. Calling the ball down on herself. Fifteen luck. Please, worse than the yard. Again, Claire will be going through all of her mental strategies now. She'll have a plan that she's worked out ahead of time. What happens if she loses the first set? What happens? How does she get back into it? How does she approach from a mental perspective? Figuring out what the best strategy is to recover. How does she approach this second set? And again, Vaughan still relatively young on the scene, making his debuts at the various tournaments and opens that 15 he love to the server. Is now First chase is better than eligible two. for. And so, which we'll be seeing as asking for. 15 love server chase better top than Top of his water bottle, um, as we see how he approaches the pressure that Claire is now putting him under to try and hold out the second set. 15 all, chase worse than a yard. It's good stuff by Claire, she's... 30-15. The attack of those short hits on the floor, I think the force just caught Vaughn a little bit off guard. First boast we've really seen from Claire as well. Second gallery. She's trying a few different things, trying a few different strategies. Now she's got a little bit more breathing room on the scoreboard. It's only the start of the set, not the end of one. And the last gallery. So let's have look at some of those first set statistics. Those points won 29 to 32. Now remember Vaughan has essentially gotten six free points in addition to that which is what's because of the handicap which is what's allowed him to take the set. Those chases are 41 to the server. First chase is the second gallop. It's very high from Vaughan. A lot of those gallery length chases. Fault. One it fell more than a yard worse than the last gallery. Thirty all chase the last gallery.
chase off. Vaughan puts the ball Still back into the last gallery. Off. Same length chase as the chase that they were playing was, so there's no change to the score. The score remains at 30 all. That is a well executed kill shot from Claire. 40-30. The uh, force was high, she had the time and didn't do what all of us amateur players do and fluff it into the net. I think Vaughan will rue. The first game of the second set. Playing that as a behind the back. He definitely had the time the to play that as a conventional forehand, take a few steps back and play it. As such, the behind the back shot did not work out far too high, and it's really given Claire the game. Did well, oh, did very well gallery. off the tricky bounce off the penthouse. <coughs> Finds the last gallery from the, the lob. One force too many for Claire. 30 uh, love. At 30 love, Vaughan getting the 15 love bonus from the handicap. Ah! 15-30. Vaughan's going to be very careful here. Uh, there's one chase of last gun. And the way that he mentally approaches these next few points. Oh. Ah. Square finds that grill. Thirty. A few reaching, lunging gets to before the opening for Claire. Fantastic rally between these two players. And both of them getting a little bit of an advantage here or there. And eventually it's the frame error from Claire that wins it for Vaughan. Yeah, so Vaughan has to be just a little bit careful. There was a few points in that earlier in that game where he just looked a little bit out of focus. With the one that he played behind his back and uh, the other one which he put into the net. Yes, he won the set, and I think a lot of emotional energy went into that. How do you stay cool and calm as you approach that second set? Forty thirty to the server, chase the last gallery. Could have been down. Let's chase off. 
Osborne did very well there down his back Still inside. Kept digging set. out, kept fighting. And that is game to Vaughan. Yeah, one game, one game, one game all. It's a level game. Bolt. Down, chase one yard. It's a rare error from Claire. Fifteen love. Unforced error. Add that to the list. That one, she's just covered the timbre. The ball that hits cross court timbers can go very different directions if they hit or miss. Oh. 40 love, one check. Yeah, a couple of unforced errors from player there. See her practicing that backhand stroke. Points one at thirty eight to thirty seven. And again, Vaughan has benefited so far from six extra points because of the handicap. 40 love to the receiver, chases one yard. And that's in addition to that, to that statistic. So, chase a yard. Oh. Lost it, fell better than two. 15-40. Better than second gallop. Vaughan again using that boast to get the serve back. Let's look at it. The, <laughs> the graphic can't really decide which statistic it wants to show there. Um, but you know, what you're 15, seeing. 40, the server leads. Chase is better than the second gallop. So Vaughan is being very efficient at generating chases, oh. even if they are long chases. Again, the Claire game. playing for two the Tamba there. To one to game. Out. So 2-1 with the receive 15 game. It's a mini break of handicap for Vaughan. Love. So cruel with the handicap. Who's one point? You're already 30 love down. Especially when the game's this tight. Okay, it's the second gallery. 30 love sub. Thank you. 
second gallery. Two chases. Can we grab the balls, please? Just while the players grab the balls, uh, I'm going to bring up the match summary. Just to point out that Chase's laid statistic by Vaughan is at 38%. So that means that one in three, uh, one in two and a half points that Vaughan is playing from the receiving end. He is getting a chase. So that's going to translate to roughly one to two chases per game that he's down there. So I wonder, with the way that Claire's processing the game, if she realises that that statistic is quite that high, and how she can go through developing a serving strategy where she's not giving away so many chases. 30 love to the receiver, first chase is the second gallop. Because that statistic isn't something that necessarily feels obvious when you're on court. You can just kind of feel stuck at the hazard end. I'm not getting chases, not necessarily that you're not sticking down the service end for quite so long. As she misreads that ball 40 love off the main wall. Because, of course, in this game, it's a solo game. You've got to figure out all of this on your own. Whoa. There is no statistics to help you. There are no coaches to help you. There's no doubles partner to help you. It's just you and your opponent. The chase. It's the game. Three games to one. It's a level game. Which is partly what makes the World Championship format so interesting. Played over three days with a uh, a day in between because the only real chance in this game where you get a chance to discuss those tactics what's working well what's working not well with other players and seconds and, and so on how's it better than half as Vaughan does some gymnastics to get out of the way of that ball to leave that hazard chase Fifteen luck. Again, this very much feels like a must win game for Claire. If she loses this game, she'll be four one down and with down. a fifteen luck game to follow. Just as a reminder, uh, there will be the third quarterfinal following this match, and that is between Fifteen love to the receiver. Petworth's first case is Lewis Gordon better than half a yard. And Oxford's Craig oh. Greenhouse, and that match will commence at four PM. Fifteen love receiver has a chase better than half a yard. Fault. A very well disguised shot love. there by Claire. It's one yard. Vaughan misread that she was going to go down the line. She thinks he's prepared more for a boast. Chase a yard now. Claire brings out the force, but it is too high. 15 30. One of the things that Vaughan has to make sure of now is only a handful of points away from taking this match. It's the game, two games to three, it's a received 15 game. 
needs to make sure that he can close it out. Those last points, those last games can often be the hardest. For the first time in a while on these 15 love games, Claire's managed to take the first point Please. and even That's up the handicap. So we're starting to see the fist pumps come back for Claire. 15 all. Thirty fifteen. Stroke. Sorry, chase better than half a yard. Two chase. Yeah, so how does Vaughan approach these last? few games that he would need to win the match. He can count the remaining points on his hands at this point, on his fingers. If he wins the next nine in a row, then he would win. But that pressure of just needing those nine points. Where are those nine points coming from? to the from? receiver. First chase is better than a yard. Two very short chases now for Claire. Claire taking the safe option, putting those balls in play. Chase better than half a yard. to risk the ball bouncing up into the dead on, and now we have a better than half a yard chase. Is too high from Vaughan. 40 30 server. <laughs> 40 or game point. A big moment here in this match. 40 or game point. Claire with the serve. Should bring it back to level. Oh! Ball not clipping the penthouse on the way back down. Oh no, that's very unfortunate. It's the game, four games to two. It's not the first time she's misread that Never main again. wall. Very rare to see Claire get that upset with herself on the court. Vaughan leads 4 2. <laughs> 15 love. <laughs> Chase. Half a yard worse than the last gallop. Thirty love. A sense of frustration. That's frustration now creeping in for Claire. She needs to put that error from the end of the previous game behind her. Oh, oh that's not good. Take it slow, take a break. Just needs to find those five points. Now it's four points away. How will this match conclude? So Plenty of drama in that first set as Claire came back from 5-2 down as Vaughan looks to find a way to close this match out. 40 love to the server. 
half a yard worse than the last gallery. Mid distance chase here, half a yard worse than last. And that is not going to help players' attitude at the moment. It's a 15 love game with Vaughan at 5 2. That's really some of the first pace we've really seen from Claire. This match. Just need to be careful if she's going to channel it into something useful. And not get carried away. 30, 15. She isn't doing just at the moment. It is like that. That's not going to be good. Oh no, he's misread that. He had so much time as the ball was looping through the air. 15. And just something of the bounce. Maybe it hit a bad stitch. Sent in the wrong way and straight into the net. That's the kind of break that Claire needed. And he's got another chance for it. And yes, this time he does execute that kill shot. 30-40. Five. Does Level most of the game. game from the receiving end. Just hitting that ball that little bit harder, a little bit more venom at the moment. But does risk putting that ball high in that penthouse. Chase, a yard worse than last gallop. Shake of the head from Bourne. Not happy with that serve. Yeah, two I think Vaughan, as this match has gone on, we're over an hour into it now. That kind of ball into his backhand corner at the start of the match, he was running it down a lot better. Getting a lot more of those back. I think there's a little bit of an opening in there now. He's not quite covering it as well as he was. And if Claire is going to be accurate there is chances to get some short chases Lovell first chase is a yard worse than the last gallop Put away as the galleries were open. <laughs> it's a long and safe. 15 love, chase one yard. Now it's chase a yard. Lost it for better than two. 30 love. Better than second gallop. And she's misread that one as well. Another long chase for Vaughan. <coughs> Again, Claire going for those Demi PKs. They seem to be working all right for the moment. As we go see a tweener from Vaughan. And Vaughan clinically finishes that off. And takes a 40 love lead in this game with a decently long chase. Vaughan must be wondering where are those three or four points coming from that he needs. 
to close out this match. We've seen Claire be switching to that harder hit Demi PK working well so far in this game. 40 love to the receiver. Away from her. Faces better than Railroad the second gallery. Underarm twist she's been serving a bit more of earlier in the match. Better than the second gallery. Fold. Last gallery or forehand side. Long on the last gallery, but left the hazards open. Time. Fifteen forty. Game four. Vaughan just going the wrong five. way a bit there. There still is that, oh as we God. saw. The received 15 game. During that last game, a bit of an opening on his backhand side at the moment. That double hand, it can't quite get all the way into the corner. How's the chase worse than a yard? Vaughan shouldn't be too disappointed with conceding a hazard chase Both. when he's 5 4 up. And 15 love up because of the handicap. So it has a chase. Very strong odds for a point from that. Oh, 15 all. Wow. 30, the tightest Vaughan, railroad spawn has done for a while, and Claire just slots that straight in the dead on. Chase, oh, better than the yard. Two chase. Claire is up for it now. It's amazing how momentum works in this match, in this game. Vaughan is ahead in the match, but Claire is now the one fist pumping. Vaughan looks out of ideas. Whereas not even five minutes ago, it was the other way around. So, two chases here <laughs> to the very opposite ends of the court. Hazard worse than a yard and chase better than a yard. Thirty fifteen to the server. First chase is hazard worse than a yard. So what will Claire do here? You expect some railroads. How do you stop Vaughan from boasting his way out of this? Oh, that's a very tight railroad. Claire's not sure where it went. 40, it went 15, basically straight to the sky. If there was no roof are. here, that might have ended up in the sea. 40, 15, server. Chase better than a yard. Now I've got the short chase. wouldn't have won it. That also wouldn't have won it. Oh but the grill. <laughs> Claire game. brings us back five to five all. It's a level game. She was five two down in the first. Five two down in the second. And she is back level pegging oh. in this game. No handicap for the final game of the set. Fifteen love. In a five all game, anything can happen. A lucky bounce here, dodgy bounce there, racket arrow, net cord. Tension's high. Heart in your mouth stuff here. 
Some fantastic volleying from Claire, but Vaughan equal to it. Got the floor chase. Worse than four. So as the advantage swings are back around to Vaughan's favour, he's now got the serve, a point lead, and two sh short distance number chases. Things swing backwards and forwards here. How will this set conclude? 15 love to the server. First chase is worse than two. Worse than two chase. And Claire cannot get that love volley chase working. Worse than four. Worse than four chase. Vaughan can leave that chase, six. wins the point, and it brings up love. his first match point. More than a yard worse than last gallop. And the tension high again here. Claire gets the chase, but she's got four match points to save. More than a yard worse than last gallery. Chase is more than a yard worse than last gallery. court to cover. Gallery. Opting for the railroad. Doesn't want to let anything in. It's gone wide. Down. Oh, off the net cord. Game and that's about six, five, the six, bit of five, luck that Vaughan needs Hamilton. to take the match. 6-5, six, 6-5. Five, six, five. Well, stay tuned. We'll bring you an interview shortly. Vaughan, that couldn't have been closer, could it? <laughs> I know, yeah. Touch and go there. Two five alls, but yeah, very tough to get through them. Yeah. Uh, talk us through um, what's the mentality like when you're leading in a set and five two up, and you've got someone racing back behind you. How do you keep that focus and get those final points? Well, I don't know. Clearly not too well. Get that, but, but yeah, Claire's obviously very experienced in these situations. Um, yeah, just trying to use those 15 love games. Didn't happen, but just eat each point as it comes, really. You saw you getting uh, a lot of chases uh, through the match, You've, you, both in your, yeah. uh, in your qualifying matches and, and now here. Uh, yeah. How do you approach um, being down the, the receiving end and thinking how, do, how am I going to get that next chase? Yeah, well, I think my cut volley and trying to be quite attacking off the off return of serve. So trying to kind of mix that up with cut volley and boast. Um, it seems to be working well to get that service end quite quickly. Um, yeah, keep down that service end as possible, really. Uh, and now a semi-final uh, yeah, against uh, Max Truman. Your first time that you're playing here in the main draw and you've made yeah. a semi-final. How does that feel? Well, yeah, it's awesome, yeah. I mean, yeah, I didn't expect this, <laughs> but we'll just keep going. See how far we can go, really. Uh, and then playing against the, the home favourite, Max. How's that going to Yeah, it's going to be up? tough. It's going to be tough. He knows this court very well. Um, but, yeah, we'll give it a good shot. Right, fantastic. Vaughan Hamilton, thank you very much. And we will return soon for... Uh, Craig Greenhouse and I can't remember who's playing. Lewis Gordon. Lewis Gordon. Lewis Gordon. Craig Greenhouse, live at four o'clock.